Hi everybody, it's David and happy Friday. A couple nights ago I was watching a movie and it had like a nautical theme to it. And the captain was yelling a order out to one of the crew members and the order went something like steady as she goes. I never really understood what the, the term steady as she goes meant in its proper context, so I looked it up. And really what it means is that it's an order for a helmsman to keep the ship's current course. And looking back at this last year, we haven't always been able to keep our ship's current course. We try to do that, but because of the COVID-19 virus and the lockdowns and the social distancing from our friends and our family, we've had to make adjustments. But one thing that I can say for certain is that even during the more difficult times that I've experienced during the lockdown, I seem to have come through unscathed. And I don't think it's anything that I've done. I think it's everything that God has done in my life. It's not a David thing, but it's more of a God thing. And uh, when I think about steadiness, I think about prayer and our relationship with God and our daily walk with him. Matthew 6 verse 8 says, do not be like them for your father knows what you need before he asks them. And you know, it's interesting. Um, when I've gone in prayer to God, I have always known that he knew before I, would, I came to him. But the simple act and the steadiness of going to him is meaningful to me because it gives me peace. And when I'm able to articulate and vocalize a prayer out loud or to myself, I know I feel better. And I know it's still heard by, by God. So in my daily life, my task is to keep a steady course. And as difficult as that seems in a very changing world, where we're pulled in a lot of different directions. I think I've been fairly successful in doing that. And I hope you have too. So I'd like to end with a prayer today. If you will, close your eyes and let's go in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your steadiness in our lives. Lead us to be like that ship that stays on course and only for your glory. This we ask in your name. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Enjoy the weekend. And um, remember to wash your hands, read a psalm, keep a safe distance when you're out in public, stay within your bubble if you have one, and don't forget to tell someone you love them.